back to the channel, y'all. In this episode, we're going to apply the Meguiar's Hyper Ceramic Detailer. And I already applied it to the panel. Versus the Seafoam Fast Finish Fast Exterior Detailer. And I want to see which one of these is going to die down to Totally Awesome first. I'm going to spritz to Totally Awesome on the panel on each side. And then I'm going to hit it with water. And just kind of wipe away the residue. Alright, no wasting time. No wasting time. Let's get into it. Alright, so what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit it with some regular original Totally Awesome right here. And I'm going to wipe it. <laughs> We're going to look at the hydrophobacy first of the two products. Let's see. Okay, you see the hydrophobacy of the Seafoam Finish Fast right there. See how hydrophobic it is? Now here's the Meguiar's. See how hydrophobic that is, right? All right. Now the trick to it, we want to see how hydrophobic it's going to be after... Everything hit the fan here. Okay? After everything hit the fan, we're going to see how hydrophobic it be then. Alright, so we're going to hit it with Totally Awesome, and let's do it. As you can see, Totally Awesome hit it. Alright, here we go. Let it kind of soap in there. Just to finish fast. Sea foam. Okay, I'm going to just wipe it away. I only did like two coats of each. Now I want to see how fast this breaks down. <laughs> now I'm going to hit it with water. I use the water to help wipe away the residue. Alright. That's all you got to do. See, I use the water to help wipe away the residue. Eases one, two, three. All right, so I let that air dry. That's round number one. Okay, now let's hit the other side over here. The Meguiar's. Let's hit the Meguiar's hybrid ceramic detailer. As you see the hydrophobic here, let's hit that. Round one for that too. Let it sit a minute or two. Give it time to totally it off and break down things that is going to break down. Then I wipe it in. And like I said, I hit it. I'm just going to do about three rounds, three, four rounds, if that. Okay. It's all wiped in. Now what I do, I hit it with water. So this will help wipe away the residue. Okay. Get out of wipe down. It's pretty much a done deal. Okay, let that air dry. All right, now let's see how hydrophobic is going to be out the round one. All right, let's hit it with some water. The toilet also didn't buzz it too much here. As you can see, like it broke down just a little up in here, but not bad though. Look at there. All right, that's the fast finish. Now let's see the, what it did for the Meguiar's Hyper Ceramic Detail. Here we go. It broke it down some. As you can see, you can see exactly where I wipe it and everything. It broke it down some. I think the finish fast actually um, held up better. On round one, as you can see here. See there? <laughs> It was actually broken down on the first round with Totally Awesome. All right, so let's wipe that off. <laughs> and hit it again. We're going for round two. You ain't going to have to do too many rounds that Totally Awesome, man. Straight up when you're wiping it in like this. I'm telling you, it's going to break down. And it'll break the average product down, too, regardless of what people say. All right, so let's hit that again using the Totally Awesome. Round number two. All right, let's hit this side. Round number two. Alright, pretty much everything's equal. Now, like I said, I'm using the original full screen. Totally awesome. Right here as the um, breakdown test. As you can see, they both probably fighting, they fighting, they fighting, they fighting. They fighting. 
Alright. Now, like I said, I use the water, just wipe in the residue. And just round number two for both products. And now I'm going to wipe it in. Alright, here we go. Let's wipe this stuff off. And this will let you know how tough they are. <laughs> yeah, I use the water to get the residue off, see. Ain't much residue going to be left behind, no way. Really, once you wipe it off, especially if you're using water like I'm using, can hit it with alcohol and just flash right away the residue. All right, now let's hit it with water. I'm just going to go two rounds with this because it's all the time I have. And just coming up with something fun, you know. I just wipe this in. All right. All right, kind of let that air out a little. Then we're going to water test it. And after two or three rounds, you can just about tell which product is going to do better, you know. You don't have to go 20, 15, 20 minutes really to tell which one of them is more durable than the other or which one of them is more chemical resistant, shall I say. You can tell after about two or three rounds, man. All right, let it dry a second. Okay, everything all dried up, looks to be. You can wipe it again, make sure. Okay. It's all dried up. Okay, all dried up. Now let's hit it with water. Let's see what's one of is more hydrophobic after two rounds. Here we go. And this seafoam stuff is still hanging in there. Look at here. Alright, let's move over there to the Maguires. Maguires took a big hit. So, in the winter, in this test, it's got to go out to the sea foam finish fast, guys. Look at this. It ain't really took a hit. And look at this. Sea foam finish did a really good job. See here? So, after two rounds, the Maguire's took a 